cheap and cheerful vegan shopping supermarket list to make life easier for you and it's student friendly yeah da, 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 da. So when it comes to going vegan, it's quite difficult to go to the supermarket and know what to get initially. I've done all of the stressful stuff for you so you don't have to go through the whole experience of going to the supermarket without knowing where to go. So this list will help you out. This is the shopping list that I tend to use so I get, you know, dinner, breakfast, lunch, snacks out of, out of this. When I say Tesco, I mean Tesco's own brand um, when I go through the products in a second. So I've got a bit of a list going on on my laptop here. So I'm just gonna read from that. So most important and essential thing is vegetables. Going vegan is an excuse to start eating healthy and treating your body with the respect and love and nourishment that it blimmin' well deserves. So yeah, fruit and vegetables in general, this is the cheapest way of navigating your, your vegan lifestyle. Just buy vegetables and fruit as much as you can. That obviously can be a part of breakfast, lunch and dinner and it should be. Cheapest, um, Fruits are bananas, oranges, and frozen berries. Cheapest vegetables are kind of broccoli, onions, what else? Sweet potatoes, peppers, spinach. Spinach is so good, it's actually really filling as well. But those are the ones that I tend to buy if I'm on a budget. I did this particularly a lot um, at uni, once I got the hang of things and I stopped buying the alternatives, like pizzas and um, burgers and stuff, which drained me of my money and of my sanity and health <laughs> do it by all means i have a pizza of a vegan pizza usually like once a week but they aren't usually the cheapest and the healthiest moving on to starches and grains rice pasta bread those are all things i'm sure you had prior to going vegan just get them again the only thing i'd say is um make sure you always always check the ingredients just in case so fresh pasta for example a lot of it is uh, not vegan it's got eggs in so yeah, be careful. And in terms of starches and grains, if you want to be healthy, I would get whole grain or like, you know, yeah, brown rice, but it's completely up to you. So I've got Tesco's cinnamon and raisin bagels. They are really good for breakfast. Um, Tesco couscous. Couscous is associated with being quite like bougie and fancy, but actually it's quite cheap and it's really, really healthy. And it's quite good to have with a mixture of peppers and a bit of oil and some maybe some broccoli or yeah just nice and healthy and quick and simple tesco scottish oats for porridge great breakfast and much cheaper than buying like the little sachets that you can get with like golden syrup and stuff later on in this list i have um, golden syrup which you can add on to your porridge oats proteins and legumes you know what they say if you're vegan you're gonna have to really make sure you get all that protein in honey because you are going to die otherwise so, I'm here to save your day. By the way, I'm just kidding, like, it's just not a thing. It's just... Anyway, peanut butter, chickpeas, what else have we got? Green lentils are my favourites, but obviously you get all the colours, you know, you get red, brown, yellow, whatever. But green lentils are my favourites. Um, they taste the nicest. You'd think they taste earthy because they're green, but when I had them, oh my gosh, they're so good. Baked beans, Heinz baked beans. No added sugar aren't vegan for some reason, but the normal ones are, so you can get them. Frozen soybeans are a lifesaver, so yeah, whack them in the freezer. One small nightmare is like vegetables and fruits going off quite quickly, so you can get like frozen veg, um, frozen fruit, so yeah, frozen stuff is great and cannellini beans is a new thing that I've discovered but they are really nice. They're quite big and they're almost like, they're very hearty. I wouldn't say they're almost potato-y but they kind, they give the same like warming, filling feel that a potato does, I think personally. I don't know what to call these but these are the things that you need in terms of like adding sauce and flavour and whatnot to your food. So we've got olive oil, we have got soy sauce, ketchup, garlic, spices, so we've got salt, pepper, oregano. They do all of this at Tesco and you can get it fairly cheap. It's worth investing in um, salt and pepper and oregano because it will last you and it will flavor loads of your meals. So it's not a boring, like no flavor dish like vegan food is associated with. You just need to buy all the spices and they last you a long time and you can get um, refillable glasses. Um, don't get the plastic ones ideally, but I guess they are cheaper. Uh, but save the planet. 
For sauces, coconut milk and tin tomatoes are brilliant. You can get passata instead of tin tomatoes, but tin tomatoes are cheaper, so get them. I think Tes Tesco might even do a Tesco own tin tomatoes as well. But yeah, tin tomatoes are really cheap and they're good to put with pasta. They're good to put in with rice. They just add so much flavor, particularly if you're into Italian food. Um, tin tomatoes are great. Um, you can make your own tomato sauce. Which leads me on to my next thing, uh, tomato puree. You can add that um, to your pasta sauce. A bit of, bit of tin tomatoes, bit of tomato puree um, in a frying pan with some garlic and some onions and you're onto a winner. Now for my favorite part, desserts. <laughs> so uncomfortable. I've had these since I was like 10. <laughs> They've got holes in places that you don't want holes. And yeah. Anyway, if you're looking for cheap desserts, you kind of want to go down the biscuit aisle. Biscuits are quite cheap. So Oreos are vegan. McVitie's ginger nuts are vegan. Lotus biscuits, the best thing in the entire world. Oh my God, I love them. Fox's party rings, blast from the past. Just added a lot of biscuits, but um, there are plenty of desserts out there. Vegan desserts actually do tend to be a little bit more on the pricey side. So that's why I tend to go for biscuits because they're cheap. Um, but you can go for Skittles as well. My favorite thing to do is to have golden syrup and squeeze it on fruit. So you can get some, I don't know, strawberries, uh, chop them up, maybe even half a banana or a whole banana if you're feeling crazy. Chop it up, put it in a bowl and squeeze some golden syrup. And golden syrup is my next item for dessert. But it's also good for your porridge, like I said earlier. Tesco Scottish Oats. Someone is calling me. Grey's England from your phone. Who the frick is Grey's? Hello? Who's that Bertha? Is that who? Is that Bertha? 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 Yeah. Bertha Hartman? No, it's not. How can I help? Right, I must have the wrong telephone number. Oh, don't worry, love. Right. It's alright. Sorry about that. Thank oh, you. No worries. Okay, you Have a nice care. day. Bye. Same to you then. Bye bye. Ah, oh, what a nice bloke. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> back to the, the cheap Tesco shopping supermarket list. <laughs> um, alternatives. This is where it gets expensive, so try and keep this bit of the list short if you want it to be inexpensive um, and you're, yeah, you're looking to save money. The only alternatives I would recommend if you're keeping um, to a budget is Tesco almond milk, Alpro plain yogurt, Vitalite dairy-free spread, snacks. So I love to snack, as does everyone that I know. So I don't know why I'm saying that, as if it makes me unique. I've got a lot of snack ideas. Hula hoops. Tesco sweet and salted popcorn, or just salted, if you're not a fan of sweet and salted. But yeah, they're grand. And they're quite like a nice light dessert, so if you're looking to not feel... Then, that's a good one. Tesco nuts. The cheapest ones are actually roasted monkey nuts. They're not my favorite because they're actually a bit bland. But if you're into the plainer things, then go for them. But my other recommendation is salted peanuts. They're always a winner. Obviously be careful because they are quite fatty. So have a, have a handful, but don't go crazy. I won't finish the whole packet. Or you can. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. Lentil chips. As far as crisps go, slightly more on the pricey side in comparison to all the products on this list, but they are worth it. They come in a big bag and I only have a small bowl if I'm gonna have them as a snack. And I have them with a bit of hummus, which is my next thing to get. Do check because some hummus is not vegan. I know actually, because I've researched it, that the Tesco hummus is vegan. I have lentil chips, the plain lentil chips um, with hummus and sliced up cucumber. And I just get my little lentil chip, it's like the little boat. And then I put um, <laughs> hummus on top, like a tiny bit, a scoop of a bit of hummus. And then I put a tiny little slice of cucumber. Eat natural bars. The maple syrup and, what was it? Maple syrup, pecan and peanut are the vegan one. The other ones I don't think are vegan. I think they've got one other vegan one, which is like coconut and dark chocolate, which is so good as well. But I was looking on the Tesco website and I couldn't find that one. So the one I have got is also really good is the maple syrup pecan and peanut one and they are just like cereal bars so you could use them as breakfast as well but I prefer to have them as a snack they're really nice and they are really filling so don't have them right before dinner 
green olives with herbs. Olives are found on acquired taste. I've only actually recently started liking olives after I went to Rome. The olives there are so good. But these ones are really good actually, they're so good for the, for the price. Healthy and light. If you're in the mood to have your taste buds stimulated, olives will do that. You could get fresh mango, nice and healthy. Apples, apples are a cheap fruit. Peanut butter and apples are great. So get a bit of a scoop of peanut butter, slither it onto the apple. So peanut butter is another one you need to get. It's just an option I'm throwing out there. Um, the Tesco vegetable couscous is also vegan. I'd say it's more of a lunchy thing than a snacky thing, but it's it's a heavy snack. This is one that I learned from my mum that probably wouldn't be all people's taste, all everyone's taste, to everyone's taste, but I really like it. Peas fried with garlic. Yeah, really nice. So that's my cheap vegan supermarket shopping list. So you can just go straight to Tesco and not have to supermarket hop, which I found a nightmare. I had to go to you near know, like Tesco, then Aldi and what whatnot. And also the reason I chose Tesco is because they tend to do more of a variation than Aldi and Lidl. Obviously if you want to go really really cheap there is Aldi and Lidl. And if you want me to do a video on that just comment down below and let me know. And if there's enough comments saying yeah I will think about it. <laughs> when I was at uni I did go to Tesco quite a lot and Tesco were quite good. I hope you liked this. Please subscribe and comment and stuff if you had liked it or if you've got any ideas or if you're vegan too and you want to help out people who are who are not vegan please comment i just want there to be as much information about going vegan as possible so everyone can just do it and save the planet and the animals and themselves some of the products in this video can't have vegan listed on the packet it may contain traces of milk they might have it written as vegetarian that's usually because it's it's made in a factory that also makes animal products. It's basically for people with allergies. None of the products I put on there are from animal origin, so there's no need to worry, they're all vegan. Just make sure that you check the back of the packet anyway. I'm gonna be back with a video every Friday talking about veganism or feminism, basically. Empowering, trying to empower women and animals and my my thing but I also quite like talking about relationships and how humans work so keep a look out and I do a meditation every Wednesday a motivational speechy kind of vibe so if you're not into meditation just listen to it while you're trying to walk and you need a confidence boost I'm in a very awkward position I've just realized I just looked in the viewfinder oh my goodness that's embarrassing have a lovely day peace and love to you all